<laughs> ah. Holy shit. Damn. What's a card even mod into? Royal crowns, diamond armors, hyper wrists, Samantha souls. Wow. A lot of stuff. 100 black holes. Status art attacks, elemental attacks, dynamo stones, holy wars, elixirs. I think it might be time to start considering modding these. Because <laughs> 100 elixirs is a lot of elixirs. One hundred dino bones is a lot of quakes. Consider it. I'll consider it. But once you go down that mod road, you never go back. It's a one way street. Totally worth it. Look what you made me do, stream. Look what you made me do. I said I was done with Triad. I said I was done. But you brought me right back to it. Right back to the addiction. And the only thing I had left was to destroy it all. To burn it all. Ooh, magic plus 60 ability. Ooh, GF learns speed junction. I think that might be good for, um, Ifrit. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Um, Squall, you're about to get fast, son. Sixty-three. Just tuning in to my uh, triple triad induced insanity. Blame Taffy. It's her fault. <laughs> okay. Now, previously on Final Fantasy VIII. Let's find that white seed ship that had been eluded us. Watch, it's gonna be like totally glaringly obvious now because uh, it's gonna be actually be there. <laughs> seed ship. Hey, there it is. Wow, that's fucking easy. Oh, I just rammed it. The the end. I just rammed it. That's it. That's it's over. The end. <laughs> Selfie says so.
We meet again. My name is Squall. Seeds from the Long Garden. I'd like to speak to your leader. I'm in charge. State your business. Depending on what you say, we may ask you to leave immediately. I want to see you alone. You pose no threat. A day I told us that you would be here. A day? How? A day is no longer under Sorceress Ultimacia's control. She is now our ally. So there's no reason for you to hide Alone's whereabouts from us. You want to take Alone back to protect her from Ultimacia. Thank you for coming. We have no reason to believe you. Please leave. I have a letter. I have a letter. Hey, don't run from me. Don't run. Okay, he ran. Is there anything else I hear? Apparently there's something more to discuss. Oops, I left. Oh shit, who the hell are these? Um, kids? I said that we shouldn't talk to strangers. There's something I can tell you, I'm sorry. Alright, is it time to break out the gun blade? Time to break out the gun blade? Cut them all? No? Twilight's telling me to cut them all. Twilight is never wrong. Ever. Wow, long time no see, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, my watch was. Wow, long time no see, sir. Whoa, look who's here. Squall, how's it going? Can't believe you're here. Everybody doing good, sir? After you guys left, the Galbadi and Buttheads came after us. We barely escaped this boat. I was sure we were gonna, sir. Zone went nuts and was thinking about swimming across the sea to escape. Hey, it was a plan. All you were doing was whining like a big baby. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Look who jumped in first. You numbnuts. I don't see how these wackers keep surviving. So how's Renoa? Where is she? Awkward! Renoa fought with us against the day. For some reason, she went unconscious after the fight. She's resting in the garden now. I don't know what happened. Couldn't protect her. I'm sorry. You son of a bitch! What did I say? What did I say, huh? I told you to take care of her. And nothing better happened to her. Scumbag! You pathetic lion scumbag! So, come on. Easy, sir. Easy. She's not dead. They just don't know what's wrong with her, that's all. Ain't that right, sir? Swall would never give up on her. Am I right, sir? Came here to get alone because there's a new evil force after her. If we can get alone and Renoa together, maybe we can get Renoa back. Really? See, Zone? I told you, sir. Renoa's gonna be fine. She promised she would be back. We all have to free Timber together. Don't worry, sir. All right. I'm going to say it one more time. There's something that happens to again, I swear. <laughs> it's Ultimate Shah, not Ultimate Shah. It's Swish and Nick. Careful information, sir! No thanks. Okay, sir. It's Wadsworth, my robotic butler. Oh wait, he likes porn mags. I have one. Maybe that'll cheer him up. And all shoot Timber Maniacs. Finish reading it. Dude. It's kinda cool to watch the sea. I never get bored of it. I learned to pilot the ship a little. It's tough. With trains, you just have to worry about staying on the track. Well ships, oh man, you gotta worry about the entire sea. Hey! That's the girl next door. How'd you get it? Hey man, uh listen, uh. I was wondering if you can give it to me. 25,500 gil. Huh? Serious? Oh man, thanks. You're awesome. Here, I want you to have this. Rename card. Shiva card. Awesome. Thanks again for the book.
another card to add to my mod collection. In the Navy! Ooh, draw point. Yeah. This is Matron's writing. She really gave this to you. You guys call her Matron too, huh? Yes, ever since we were little. We were raised by a day or two. It was difficult to fight against her, but we did. Fortunately, everything turned out well. Adea is no longer evil. She's back to her old self again. The kind of matron we remember. Swall, thank you. We owe you and Blam Garden much. Even her silly was the same. Matron told us it hasn't changed since Seed was established. <laughs> Holy fat, holy fat, holy, holy, holy. Fifteen holies? Damn. How many you got, girl? Shit. Okay, let's get a squall so you can stack that. Give all. Squall. Dog. Buddy. Pal. What are you gonna do with 25 holies, man? Something fucking amazing, I hope. That's holy resistance. Holy attack, that's actually kind of badass. So it says in the letter, you're looking for a loan? I'm sorry, the loan's no longer here. White seed leader. You had one job. You had one job. Remember we picked her up from your garden near the FH coast. FH doesn't have a coast, but okay. After that, we headed east to get away as far as we could from Adair and Galbadia. Before long, we encountered the Galbadian fleet. We had a lot of ships. Obviously, they were searching for us. We should have been more careful. They pursued us in full force. Luckily, we were able to escape, but then our ship broke down and we were stranded. There was no way we were going to let the Galbadians take a loan. Eventually, the Galbadians cut up to us and we had no choice but to prepare for battle. But a nest on ship appeared. The battle began between them and Rear Cotton Middle. Something strange happened. Suddenly, an S Star ship came up beside us and S Star soldiers came aboard. They told us to get aboard their ship. We sent them like an order to evacuate. Of course, we refused. We didn't trust them just as we didn't trust the Galbadians. As yes, our soldiers were trying to convince us, the battle became more intense. Soon they were forced to leave our ship. As the ship was pulling away, Alone yelled out something. And all of a sudden, she jumped onto their ship. 